Step 1. Remove one track from the underside of the work surface and set aside. Step 2. Insert the attached work surface track into the plastic guide on the column arm. Step 3. Insert the unattached work surface track into the opposite plastic guide on the column arm and attach using the screw you removed in Step 1. Step 4. Rest the unit upside down over the edge of a desktop or work surface on top of the cardboard divider marked with B in the packaging. Step 5. Attach the actuator handle with the patent pending side facing up using the M5 by 12 mm screws to the column arm. Step 6. Set the keyboard tray spacer in alignment to the holes on the column arm. Step 7. Place the cardboard spacer labeled A in the packaging in front of the unit to support the keyboard tray. Attach the keyboard tray to the column arm using the M5 by 38 mm screws through the spacer. Step 7A. Place the template on the underside of the keyboard tray facing towards the front. Step 7B. Remove adhesive liners and affix foam pads into the openings on the template. Step 7C. Remove the template. Step 8. Place some of the bubble wrap on top of the keyboard tray to protect the surfaces and then attach the base plate to the vertical column using the M5 by 25 mm screws. The countersunk holes and the felt pads of the steel base plate should be facing you. When the base plate is firmly attached, Flip the unit over onto the desktop or work surface where you plan to use it. Step 9. Slide the crossbar mount into the channel to the appropriate height and then tighten top and bottom screws to lock into the desired position. Step 10. Remove the end cap from the crossbar and slide visa mounts out of the crossbar. Step 11. Attach the visa mount to the monitor using the M4 by 12 mm screws and the countersunk washers. For monitors with a recessed area for visa mounting, place spacers between the visa mount and the monitor and use the M4 by 22 mm screws and countersunk washers. Step 12. Slide the mounted monitors back into the crossbar channel and reattach the end cap. Monitors can be adjusted horizontally after the end cap is attached. Step 13. Affix the plastic cap to the top of the column. Step 14. Align cables from monitor along the crossbar, insert cables into the small cable management clips, and clip the small cable management clips into the channel of the crossbar. Then align the combined cables coming from the crossbar towards the center of the column, 
insert cables into the large cable management clips and clip the large cable management clips into the center channel of the column.